Kakina's supposed to be here. I just got off the phone with him, so hopefully he'll peek in and um, we'll uh, pick it, pick at his brain a little bit, maybe. That um, you know, the the according to the to the to the modern calendar, the first day of spring is Saturday. You know, this Saturday, according to the to the English calendar, to you know, the modern calendar, you no. Know, it's Saturday, but um, I I don't believe it's here yet. There's um you no know, going going by a lot of different things, you know, culturally and going by the weather. It tried to snow a little bit here. When was that? Monday? It tried to snow a little bit, but it wasn't the wasn't wouldn't say it's the last snow yet. There's one last snow that happens. It's the bigger flakes. And it turns into a slush. And then, but it's it's the the big the last big snow of the year, of the winter. And once that snow has come and gone, and that's would say that's that seals the deal for winter. It's done. And you move on into spring. Crow socks. Yeah, that's what they yeah that's what they call them. Crow socks. That's. And I think that's also the where the where the month of um, um, the name of March comes in, Aamim, referring to that snow, that last that last big snow of the of the winter, the crow socks, what's called, come in big big flakes, big clumps of flakes, they come down. So. So we may think it's 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 spring right now, but no, we still got one more last little bit of snow. It, it don't last long anyway. It does last, you know, a day. It's gone. Once that come, once that comes and goes, and then well, then we're we're in. Um, Anum is done, and we're we'll be in Wawakam. See if I can get this right here. Wow. Okay, there's everybody there. Okay. Yeah. So don't mind me if I'm if I'm look if I if I got I got uh, my I got you guys over here on my on my big screen and my whiteboard. I'm looking straight at you guys on my whiteboard on my laptop. So <laughs> you see me looking, if you see me turning the other way, I'm looking at you guys on my whiteboard. So my big screen, my laptop. <laughs> <clears throat> so um That's coming. That's coming. That's the season of um, spring. It's the name of it, the time of year. Wawacham. Wawacham. <clears throat> so, Wawacham, the things that we deal with spring. What do we deal with spring? Like uh, we were, because what got on what got, what got on topics of um of that was um uh, Bobby was talking about you know naming off you know different animals and forgetting some of the names and we do we sometimes we do forget some of the names of animals and it's a good thing because I was starting to forget a lot of the names of the animals too you know some of these names of these animals like um, you know. What's what's a big thing that we have that comes? It's the um, nusuch. Nusuch is a big thing. You know, it's a it's a big it's a main, the main staple of our diet. You know, it's our the base of our culture. And um, I was. I was watching this clip and this guy was talking about diets, you know, diets, you know, a human diet. 
and he was going off on you know different things. You know, the mainly the whole thing that started is that why do we drink um, cow milk? You know, what's the what's the whole deal? You know, you know what what do what do all those babies drink? You know, their own mother's milk. Then he, he got onto as you, as you grow what the, the, what a human diet should be. Let's say. Some of it made sense, and it got, so it got to the point of fish. And um, he said that humans should not be consuming so much fish because of all the mercury. And now with um, the modern modern world, that all the other contaminants that, are that the fish swim in. But you know, even before then, I was thinking, you know, I I got got a I got I wish I could go in there. I said, I gotta prove you wrong there, buddy. I got I got a bone to pick with you that. A lot of our, our people along the river, we ate fish on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Salmon wasn't just, uh, like how it is now. Like, I, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait till, I'll wait till whenever to eat fish. I'm not going to waste my time now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that was uh, something that would kind of, kind of, Got on, got under my skin. You no, know, I, I got, I got a, it irritated me. Like, no, we, we, our, our people up and down the river. That, that's, that's even on the coast, salmon was a big thing. It's nothing wasn't, wasn't something to curl our nose at. You know, it, it was something important. Uh, to say the backbone of our culture, and. <clears throat> what made me think of it now is that something to go on is that what um, Kokinich is working on with um, uh, Yellowhawk. You know, he's, he's doing the whole foods list. You know, what, what's now been called our first foods. Yeah. It, it, it's to me, it, it, that, that term so, still sounds kind of crazy to me. First foods. <clears throat> well, I guess you can. Well, if you're gonna, you know, make sense of it, kind of, you kind of go with uh, how how Canadians ident identify themselves as First Nations. You know, they're the they're the first ones. So, like, that would be like the fish, you know, all the roots and berries, the meats. That go along with that. <coughs> and um, so nusuch, the word nusuch, you know, it's we all know, understand what that is, but that's all. That's all salmon. All salmon. There's, there's no. It's not a specific name for one salmon, but each salmon does have their own name. Each one has their own name. Like um, Say how would I put that? Make a quin quin quinnat. Quinnat quinnat quinnat. I think that's. I think that's how you spell it. Quinnat. That's the Chinook salmon or king salmon, Quinnat. Quinnat. The one that's one the, the the big one that's making it starting to make turn make the turnaround and make its way up river soon. Quinnat. You got um Sunch. Sunch. Now, which one's that one again? That Sunch. Is that the um, silvers? Or? I can't remember. The, uh, uh, yeah, I believe Sunch is uh, the silver. Yeah, Sunch. Or what? A coho, English? Yeah, I found in another dialect, coho salmon is sinuch, so it yeah. makes sense for that. Yeah, sunuch. 
and you got Sundh, and you got, um, oops, Kaluch. 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 That's the um, Sakai. Kaluch. Kaluch. I mean, there, there's um, there was just so much that went along with them. That was that that day where me and me and um, dad were talking about this. I was at the school and go, going through these um, going through this book. I said, and I was like, oh man, I gotta I gotta get going. Class is starting. I totally spaced out time. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah, I do got a class going on, huh? <laughs> I do have students. Kalu, Sakai. Then, um, what was the, what was another one in there, Kakinish, that, about the, you got Quint, Quinat, Sund, Kaluch, um, Shu, Shine, so Shu Shine, is that, a, is that a, or is that a, or is that the uh, like that? Is it Shushainch like that with the, or is that a Esh? I've seen it before with the Esh. Thomas is here, right? Yeah, he's there. Oh. Here I was talking and had myself on mute, <laughs> but you're forgetting one. A quinat then kaluch comes before sunch. Oh, does it? Uh, yeah, ka, uh, kaluch comes before sunch. Then there's a one that's gone now. It's no longer here. That's a masya. Masya. Is that mats? Is that masya or mats matsya? I say Masya, M U S I Y A. I don't know what the. So it'd be actually. You can still get it on the coast though. Mas Masya. I put a Y uh, I in before the Y. Masya. Masya. Mas. And that's the uh, um, humpy. They used to be in the river, but they're no longer in the river anymore. Masya. Is that a kind of pink salmon? Yeah. Yeah. So let me, let me fix this real quick, make sure I get that order in there. So it's actually be. Kaluch comes in Kaluch. June. Quinat Kaluch Sun Mats Masya. In October. Masya Shushainch. Which one comes in October? Sun. Sun. Uh, Sun. And I don't remember what the, uh, what, but they're a big one. The June hog, I think that's peanut too. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be I think that'd be um Quinnat, the June June run, given that that's a, the late late of the last of the spring run. Quinnat. Uh-huh. June hogs. But wouldn't um wouldn't they be actually considered uh, Matula by that time? Then all of them changed to Matula when they become um, uh, in the later stages when they really get um, when they deplete their fat and they really become hook-nosed and really aggressive. That's when they're Matula. And that's when they're like the, the word matula is when they're matured. And really, that's a really mature salmon. That's all the full, full, the full growth matula. And um, that word, given what it is, I was kind of kind of brought me back to uh, a, you know a recording that I listened to a lot. Has, I've showed it, shared it with you guys with talking briefly about that food cycle and Matula. So I was, I asked my dad a couple of times, wouldn't, isn't that kind of how they, those two words sound similar? Matula and Matip. Kind of, and say like the last, last part of the whole thing. Because um, Matip is a berry season, the last Last time, the berries are in season. That the, the, the tmish, we will know, matip, suspan, but just matula and matip. That sounds similar. Sounds similar. We're we're just now getting out of the spring season, and the first ones, the first of the. First of the fish, and the ones that we would be uh, gathering now would be like the yike, the khun, lupa, lupa. Um, the khun? Yeah, khun. Yaik, yaik, hun, lipa, lip, lip, oops, lipa, those are all suckers, those are all suckers, and then there's also then would be the washna, that's uh, in February, washna, Oops. Which Huna? Which Huna? Like that? Is that how it's spelled? Which Huna? Yeah, which Huna? It's, uh, it's on the A. The stress on the A. Which Huna? Then there's uh, right now, then you get the Eitman. But then the other ones, the other trouts that would come later on in the year. You've got the. Um, uh, And that's a catfish. Hey, no, just kidding. <laughs> it's a pits and a cat, you know, two catfishes. Pits cut you. <laughs> pits cut you. Then the aschinch. 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 
option. Then, then Islam. Is, yeah. Lam or lam? Lam. Islam. 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 No, it's not the first one. Is it? Islam. Yeah, it goes up on the first one. Fine. His. 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 It's like that uh, cat. Uh, cat. His. Islam. <laughs> Islam. And those okay. are the, really the early spring fishes beside uh, Samai. Samai. Is it Samai or Smai? Samai. Bardai. My. Even though we don't eat it, they catch it in the uh, end of December. So that should come at the end as willups. January and February is when they fish for the willups. I don't really care for it. We're not supposed to eat it. Willaps. Which one's that? Is it, is it Willaps or Willaps? Willaps. Ups. Ups. Willaps. It sounds like it's not the first one. Willaps. 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 Sturgeon. Yes, yeah, so far, so some, some of the people do eat it. I was, you know, myself, I was told not to touch them. I mean, they didn't catch them and whatnot, but I was told, I was told not to not to eat them myself growing up. Because of because of what what they what what they eat, you know, and you know, and what they were in the last world to the old world. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, you think of think of all the people that have gone in the river and never come back, and the, that 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 animal would possibly fed on them. So it's we just don't. Oh, that's what our 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 elders told us. You no, know, they people eat them though, but then I don't. Yeah, that's that's yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, we eat we eat crabs, we eat lobsters. Same same thing. That I'm just not a I'm just not a sturgeon person. <laughs> and then in, uh, they're probably over with now, but the winter eels, the little black ones, soyas. Soy. Soyas. The, then in summertime, the big blue ones, but then in wintertime, there's the little black ones. They really taste good and they're not as oily. Soyas. Soyas. Wow. So many different. They're hard to catch too. So, soyas or soyas. That where the stress is on the oo oil? Yeah, soyas. Yes. And, um, that that also goes by another name too, doesn't it? Asum. Asum. That animal. Yeah, asum. That's um. I, I, I like sh I like sharing those different things, different terms from different um, people. That way, when um, when you, when you go el elsewhere and you hear hear that term, you're like, what what is that? Like asum, and you say, oh, it's kasoyas. That way, you, when you um, um, go other places, you'll um, be familiar with some. That's some awesome assum. That's an awesome assum assum assum. <laughs> but yeah, so kasoyas or assum. No, it's, and then the other ones I'd be in this time too. And if the waters were still flowing, 
And that's when you started getting into like the uh, Shacho, the Stiwala and Chisto. Shacho. Siwala. Yeah. Um, his, his, oops, wrong letter. Histo. Maha. These are your um, clams, clams and mussels. Um, shahu would be the clam, right? Shahu. Yeah. And siwala is the, is the muscle, the long one? The muscle, yeah, the long one, yeah. And chistu is the, which one? A freshwater clam? Freshwater clam? Yeah. Now, um, these terms... fall under this one word. Waikanash. This term, this word not only mentions the first the, the, the first fish from the river, but it also it's calls to all the all the water life that we take from the river. Waikanash, first of all, the foods from the river. So when we when when feast time comes and you hear in that 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 word Waikanash, you're not only referring to the salmon, but you're also calling out all all these names that that don't follow it. No, Tquinat, Kaluch, Sunch, Masia, Shushainch, Yaik. Khun Lapwa Aitman Wishna Pitskayu Aschinch His Hislam Smai Willaps Ksoyas Shahu Siwala Christu But I do know that I'm missing some on here too. I'm not quite sure where which one that I am missing, but that's a I remember Kutla even saying this one. Oh yeah. Every now and then, it wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't um, it wasn't like always on there, but it was considered. This was this was this was on the lines of um, Willaps Castilla. Zeta a Castilla. Yeah. The crawdad. Yeah, the crawdad. And um, this this term has also been coined for the the crabs and lobsters also. Castilla. Because of how their body work is, you know, their exoskeletons. So the castilla. So like you go see, Go eat some crabs. So if we were to put that all on our table now, all the things that we have on uh, water foods, man, you'd have no, no room on the table. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, resources that come out of the river. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, some, and some people think that we that we starved. No, not a few. You know, they don't get don't got they don't have their history right. And even just look at all that's now. This is just Waikanash. This is just Waikanash. The Waikanash group. Now we just move on. We can even move on down to. Um, um, We're uh, not. We're not. So let me um, 
figure this out here. Oh, right there. That's what I'm looking for. About ready to time out here in four minutes. Yeah. So let me save that. Let's clear all. Then let's. Is it is it a win nut or just win nut? No win nut. A W. Yeah. So a win nut. Yeah, I'll win that. Right. Then we'll just go down really fast and then we'll go back and do it so we can get a list down. Then we'll talk about them. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, so I tell my students this all the time. I'm particular on that one. Yeah, mm -hmm. Chat, Chat. Really? Oops. Chuck that, that covers a deer, deer species. Wawokia. Wow. Wow. Wawokia. Where's that there in the middle? Wawokia. It goes on a year. Shishimka. Is it a part of it? Tashimka. Tashimka. Oh. Ta. Yeah. Tashimka. Right there? Yeah. Yep. Is it a part of CK? Tashimka. Or just ka? No, doesn't sound like it to me. Okay, the shimka. And then you go with the kayak after the shimka. Oh. Kayak. Those are the three terms for elk. The bull, the cow, and a the calf. Then you go on down. I'm just going to make a quick list while we have time. It's uh, one minute going, so I'm going to try to get as far as I can. Wawatau. Tanun. Wow. Shashik. So same. Cheek, cheek, no. Oops. Will I lick? I um uh I'm I'm missing one right here now that uh submit hold on hold on submit save this before I lose it yeah uh, everyone everyone's caught up everyone's everyone uh, left off at sin me. In me was where we left off at. Okay, the Willa Lick. We already said Willa Lick, Ikes. Ikes. Mm -hmm. Wish Push. Wish Push. Yeah. Really? Oh. See, I didn't know that. I thought we just left it alone. Wish Push. Then we'll go to Hut Hut. And this is on that uh, tape where um, it's an old video that's on um, YouTube, a Yakma elder speaking. 
And it was uh, Mose Dick that was talking about we're forgetting the birds. So there's a uh, hut hut tush tush. Mm -hmm. Tush tush. We went we went over some of the, actually most of these birds last last week. Tush tush hut hut tush tush. Uh, akak. Akak. And this time of year would be tamam. There's only time of year when the old people ate eggs was when they were available. Would they be able to get them from the um, from the geese? So the the mom would be now around this time they would gather the eggs, and then after you go to the akak, then you go to pti. pti. Tuya. Tuya. Wash, wash, no. Me, me. Me, me. And there's one I'm forgetting. It's uh over there by um the damn hill. You go out that way, then that was that place called that. Um oh crap, what is it called? Um you go up the damn hill, then you turn to the west. Um there used to be a lot of them over there, but there's no more of them anymore. Uh, well, what the heck were they called? But they come around about the after Pti, or maybe even before them. But the Wishpush is a beaver. And people used to eat the beaver, the animal. And uh, one of the things that uh, uh, they would boil, boil that, um, the tail. And oh, that is gross. I don't know how the people could eat it, but it's just nasty. It's like eating um, gristle and fat. And it's got a weird taste to it. And uh, what you do is you cut it, then you peel back the... Um, Peel back that skin, then you uh, take out that that gristling fat. Oh, oh! I don't, you know, it's not one of my favorites. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was is nasty. I don't know how beef would be roasted. It might be different, but then, but all that stuff would probably leak out if you roasted it. Yeah, that. The beaver tail. Oh, and then, um, but that, as far as, that's as far as I got with the Awinat. I got Yamash, Chatwale, Tal, Wawakia, Tishimka, Ayik, Wawatau, Tanun. Tanun's the big heads. You see them down there at the, um, at the cross from Rock Creek all the time on the, on the hills there. The big horn, big horn sheep. Then the wow, people used to hunt that. And if you go into uh, some of the old um, manuscripts by Kukendall from Yakima Reservation, he was a medical doctor there in the early 1900s. There were people that um, gave a lot of testimony stories to him about when they would go hunting wow. And that was a, you know something that they preferred back then in the early 1900s. The, the little um, goats, mountain goat. Then Sushlim, that's a buffalo. Cheek, cheek, no. You can get them now when they start to wake up and they'll come out, they'll sit on the rocks. They call them uh, groundhogs. 
they're, you know, up on Mackay Creek. And um, when they come out, they sit on rocks and they sun themselves. That's when you get them. And then you don't gut them. You don't gut them. What you do is you um, build a fire and let the fire go down to coals. And then you put the, put the groundhog on there. And you singe off all the hairs and you got to scrape it. And then after that, you can bake it. You can uh, bake it whole. And then it's, it's, it's actually really good. I like it. But we won't eat it all the time. We just get it every now and then. Especially if they've been, uh, if they lived around a alfalfa field and you get them from alfalfa fields, those ones really taste good. And that's a uh, chichikno. Will I lick? We used to gather them a long time ago, but they killed them all off. We used to hunt them out uh, just south of Pilot Rock, down in a, in an area down toward um, Vincent. And we'd get a lot of them, and they were really good. A lot of times now, I wish for rabbit. Then when we lived in uh, Adams, we lived uh, lived in Adams, and they had that uh, railroad that went through there, where the where the highway goes now, right there by that um, grain elevator. We used to put up um, little loops, little loops of uh, string. And then those uh, Ikes would get into that. They would uh, choke themselves. They would run through there, and they'd uh, catch them by the neck, and then they would uh, flop around it, and then they'd, we'd go and get them. And those are really good. The Ikes, that's a cottontail. Wish push, yeah. I've, you know, I've had it. The meat's all right, but the tail is, ugh. But people liked it. That was a delicacy, it was a tail. Cut, cut, duck. Um, when we were kids, we used to have those little tiny uh, traps, those uh, that you put out for um, uh, like coyote traps, but the, the little ones. I can't remember what size they are, zeros or ones. The little ones, and you put um, uh, chicken feed on there put it down by the creek and then they come over then they would try to eat the eat the chicken feed then that uh, trap would catch them and they're all right they're greasy as all get out oh they're kind of yeah they're greasy but you know they're all right then uh akuk i we never did never eat the akuk and here recently we got one and we roasted it. It tastes really good. It tastes like um like a, almost like a deer meat or something. The ukuk. And it's really good. I wanted some more of that. The geese, that was good. Mm -hmm. And then um pti, oh we have to always eat that. That's a grouse. That's the brown one. The rough, rough grouse. Uh, they go like that and uh, they hit themselves. And that's a pti. Then the payunch. I've never had one of them. But I know the people used to have, uh, used to eat them. And they're the pintail grouse. The ones that have that thing by their neck and they go whoop, 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 whoop. I've seen them though, but I've never had a chance to eat one. Then the tuya, tuya, that's a big blue grouse. Those are good. Those are really good. The tuya. Then the washwashno, that's a black grouse. Uh, they got red eyes. They got um, that washwashno. Mm -hmm. They got, uh, they're black. Have you ever seen them, Bobby? A black grouse? I'm not sure. Yeah, they're kind of a they're they're black anyway. They're not a blue. They're definitely not a blue and not a rough, but they're black. Yeah, I've mostly and they, just seen stand the, the ground, huh? I've mostly just seen the blue and the rough. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's a that 
the Tuya is a blue one, but the Washwashu is a black one. And then me, me, that's the dove. They're all right to eat, but they're not, there's not very, only thing you eat on them is just a the breast, the breast meat. Then the rest of it's all just kind of, yeah. But we'd eat those too. And then now in the, in the English, in the, since they brought them, you know, we eat a lot of pheasant. We used to eat a lot of pheasant, a lot of checkers, but those are introduced. And uh, I'm still trying to think of a place out there, what it's called, um, out there by the damn hill, though. That, that's another grouse. It's a type of grouse. But those are the ones that I got for a wheat nut. I know I'm missing some that are used as foods, but this that's a pretty good list. Yeah, we went over some of these birds, um, most some of this list, um, last week, last Friday. And... Um, we left off, you know, we were just we were just naming off animals, not so much as food wise, we just naming uh -huh. off animals. And we left off at the woodpeckers. Uh -huh. And um, I couldn't remember couldn't remember the name of the swan. What's actually the name of the swan? Wushina Kla. Wushina Kla, the traveler. Well, the reason why I didn't I didn't want to I wanted to, I wanted to talk to you about that because even in, in this book it's got a different word. Then there's a Yahat Kuhat is also the swan. Then he got the Walki look. Yeah. But that but that's the only word they have for swan though. But I knew there was something else though, like they reminded me of that of that of that word with shine that Yeah, they got uh, different words for that. No. We use uh, ah. uh, this verse called Yahat Kuhat. Then we call it uh, Shine Kla. Uh, also, Wauk Eluk. Because that's a, it has something to do with them making sound. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, wow, okay, look. Okay, yeah, then the other one right there by Pti. By Pti, there's two types of uh, sage grouse. There's one's a pintail and one's a sage grouse. Pintail is a payunch. Um, Achno. Or kachlu, kachnu or kachlu. Yeah. The kachnu or kachlu. Either way, nu or lu. Because that's a place on that side of the um. When you're going toward Pilot Rock, toward the west there, toward that wreath ridge, that's Kachluash. Kachluash. Now towards Coombs Canyon. Because that's where there used to be a lot of them. But that's a, that's a, not a complete list, but kind of a, a little more of a list for the um, food species that are come underneath the uh, a winnet, a winnet. So there's uh, there's um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen twenty two terms for um for a winnet. Yeah, so just, was, yeah, so yeah, the so I would just, I just you know, the, the swan was just a little ask a side note. Just what is uh -huh. the what is the name of the swan? And it's that 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 um, wow look. It, that name just didn't sound just didn't hit didn't 
said I've heard something else. I said there's I know there's another name for it. There's a Wishina Kla was one I remember now. That was actually being used a lot for that for the name of that bird, Wishina Kla. Do you remember what type of swan that was? What's that? Do you remember what type of swan that is? Wishina Kla. Wishina Kla, there's this um uh, I just saw about seven of them when it going to going to uh, Walla Walla one day. Just when you go past state line, there's that uh, pond right down below there. There's about seven of them swimming in there. Um, I would say uh, the major swan that we have around here, I believe, is a trumpeter swan. Okay, is that what Walkyuk is too? That's what uh, I got. Well, okay, look, well, okay, look, we're trying to claw six of one, half dozen of the other. It depends what kind of mood you're in. <laughs> but you remember Sounds right off the bat. But those are the man's foods right there. Those are the, those are men's foods. So there's about I don't know how many terms there are for men's foods. <laughs> Not to sound sexist or anything, it's just, um, it's, you know, the men were, were um, in time of creation, they were told to take care of, take care of this part. You know, and all the white kanash, they were told to take care of all that. And uh, a winnet. Now we move on over to the next part. Those of you that that you know that forget, you know, even those of us actually not though you us that forget that there are a lot of the a lot of the foods, you know, it's like the the first one. Yeah, that's it. Or let it let it say. Mm -hmm. That's the sprouts. Come on, puppy. Let it, let it. That's actually yeah. the first. That's the first one. Let it, chasya or let it, let it, let it, and yike and chun are the first. They're actually the first foods. And then the baby deer. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, we actually have to talk. Talk. I remember, I remember mentioning this before. I was talking to my parents about it before. Also, after that was that. Um, that no one's no one nowadays has the heart to um, to go and hunt a fawn, baby deer to feast. You know, it's they're you no. Know, look, it it's a fawn. It's a baby deer. No one wants to kill it. It's so cute, but that's a practice that's been left left out actually, and that's um, important. That that's why that's why the Yamash is always named on there on the plate first. You can't leave you can't you can't leave that out. That was something that we were told growing up by dad and our grandma and our mom. They talk, talk, they talk about it and they no one wants to do it no more. The hunters want to go and slaughter a slaughter a baby deer. <laughs> No one has the heart to do it, but you know it's that was that's their purpose. That was their purpose in life. That's that's what they were told. They were and they that's what they said they were going to do was take care take care of us people, as long as we take care of them in the in the same manner. We don't forget them. But and then when it comes to latit latit, when it comes to latit latit, then the tops uh, when it gets bigger, when they would use a different way, that's wawim. Wawim. And those would be boiled. And then you would use it and you would dig it now is a tuna tuna.
Duna, Duna, that's the root of the latit latit. And uh, what you do is you cut those, you can eat them now just like that too. But then you would, uh, when you, if you get the big round ones then you cut it into slices and you put it on a, on a yarn and then you string it and dry it that way. And then <clears throat> when you have cold or somebody's getting sick then you boil it for them and make them eat it and drink that water. And that's a, that's a latit latit, chasya. Those are three, three um, parts of it that we use. Then now we get into the other uh, foods that we're getting ready for. The piache. Oops. Yeah, piache. Would it be an eye in there or just uh, like that? I like to go like that. I put an eye in there sometimes, but piache. Piache, yeah. Chaush. Luksh. Mamen. Panko. Sasmita. Putla. Is that, Sickly. Is that two huh? use or one? One. Okay. Anipash. Say it like that. Yeah, you say it like that. Yeah. Wouldn't it be a patisi? Yeah. 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 And that's pipi. No, nas. Khamsi. Sawitk. Khmash. Chuyo. Stish. And there's no capital bar to I. Yeah. A sense chinch. A sis. A sin. A sin. A sin. Shack. Can't see my can't see my page. <laughs> okay, we, we just go back up here on this side. Is that two A's? Yeah. Shock. And um, there are others, but I'm I'm uh, drawing a blank on him. Piaché bitterroot, chaos, chaos, luke. Yeah, it's funny. I don't know the I don't know the English names for these plants. I've uh, always. I, mean, I know what they are, but I don't know the English for them. 
I think a lot of them would just get called desert parsley in English, though there are more specific names. A biscuit root, yeah. Biscuit root too, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it pushes Indian potato. That's a Cetonia lesiolata. I don't know what they call it in um, vernacular. Uh, Orida. Huh? Orida. Orida, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sutochs and Anaspipi are almost the same. I think the Brodacea, Hyacinthia, and Brodacea. Um, but they're uh, one's a bluebell and one's got a white flower. That's a Sutochs and Anaspipi, they're sisters. They're really deep, too. You got to dig really down deep for them. Nunas, that's a Mariposa lily. Khamsi is a Lamatium nudicoli. Um, that grows down by uh, Hardman, down that area, in Warm Springs. Goldendale, it's all over the place down that way. So it, um, the Indian carrot, Khamash, Camas, Chichuil, I've had it before, but you, it's um, it's a cattail root, the the long rhizomes of a cattail, and then you boil them, then you eat them. The stish, that's a prickly pear cactus. You can eat the the flat part, the the flat part, or it's really good as a fruit. And then you take the fruit and you look on the inside, those uh, seed pods are all piled up. It looks like an ear of corn. So I, that's where I think that the um, the corn got its name. It's the swakush. It's the swakush. Some people say it looks like the, the sutochs. And I kind of have a I don't think so. It does, doesn't look a damn thing like uh, Sutux. <laughs> and so then they say Sutux Wakus. And I go, I don't see it. I see it more as uh, as um, Stish Swakus. He's like, time out, new, no, new. No. T, um, T. <laughs> yeah. Then a sense chinch, they call that Wapto. And I still haven't eaten mine yet. I'm saving it. It's still in a jar here. I haven't eaten it, so I have. I've eaten the ones up north. It's kind of starchy and good. Shack, the onions, the wild onions. That's not a complete list, but it's kind of a um, little more fleshed out than what we normally present. Is there any more on there that do you see? Um, Bobby and uh, Rosin. Those are the ones I know. Some I don't know. Um, so I'm excited to learn them. Yeah. Excuse me. Because um, over there in the valley, rather not in the valley, but up at one of them, uh, they have one that they call machni, a root called machni. They've also got, um, and I've got a question on it, shkulkul, shkulkul, machni, and the different things that they put on their, their table over there. And that, to me, is, uh, machni and sasmita, Sure look a lot alike. They sure uh, kind of taste alike. They have the same uh, type of um, structure. So I think that might be a dialectal thing. The same root, but different name. Because mm -hmm. I'll, I'll have a funny story for you. We were having services. I was conducting service down at uh, Lyle Longhouse. 
which no longer exists. The uh, Lyle Longhouse burnt down and they never did ever put it back up again. But uh, having services down there, then the cooks called me into the kitchen. Thomas, need your help. Oh, now what? These ones, they brought this root in here. And we don't know what it is. We don't know where to put it. Um, they called it something. And I looked at the root. Oh, that's Luke. And that other uh, other one uh, grabs it, looks at it, and tastes it, smells it. Oh, no, 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 no. That's Sakaiwa. That's Sakaiwa. And I go, no, I think it's Luke. And then that other one comes in and uh, says, uh, taste it. That's Lamush. That's Lamush. <laughs> And then and I said, no, I still think it's Luke's. Then the uh, lady that brought it in, what are you guys doing? We're trying to figure out what this root is that you brought. Oh, that's kakit. <laughs> kakit. And then I recognize the words, you know, kakit and um, kakit and uh, Luke's. They're the same root, just different language. A lady brought it down from Idaho, so she's calling it kakit. And then here I was calling it Luke's. The Yakimas were calling it Sakaiwa. Then the ones from up, uh, up one of them area were calling it Lamush. But it was all the same route. We're all arguing over which one it was. And here's the same thing. <laughs> is there a word for the, you know, that glacier lily? There yeah. is one. And I can't think of what the, the word is. That's the one I was kind of on. Um, that little yellow, that little yellow lily. Yeah, yeah, fawn lily or avalanche lily or glacier lily. Yeah. I've heard it called. They're kind of spicy. Uh -huh. they, can, they can be. There is a word for it, but I can't think of what the heck it is right now. But yeah, that's one you need to put on her too. Then we'll go on into the uh, next order, which is uh, tamanit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this right here, and um, okay. And this is uh, I was thinking about the order that they kind of come into fruitation. So spun. Chap. Tumush. Shnim. Shachat. Shacha or Shachat? Shachat. With a T, yeah. Shachat. Then Shachat, Shachat. Twice. Yeah. It's twice as good. Kula, <laughs> 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 Kula. Kula? Yeah, Kula, Kula. Khen? Um, the other one, the black one. Uh, Khnin? Khnin? Mit up. Then, uh, Ninik. Kush. Kush.
Wow, che. Lutz ane. Crunch. Hip up. Chip up. A little muck. We don't know. We will look, we will look. Um. That's as far as I got on that one. We got less than a minute. I'm gonna save this also right now while we, while I, while I can before I forget about it. Um, we can come back for a little while longer once it cuts off. What that? Can I see that? I see uh, Carolina Panthers. Boo. No, there we go. Up. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Suspan is a strawberry, wild strawberry. Cha, that's a June berry. Tamush, choke cherry. Shnum is a thorn berry. That's the, um, I think that's a salmon berry. Salmon berry or thimble berry. I can't remember what they are, but they're orange. You got big leaves. And uh, we act actually use that now for like a raspberry and blackberries. Shekhat, shekhat is a, I get those two mixed up, salmon berry and thimble berry, but they grow up there toward um, uh, Bar M Ranch. You can find both of them. Yeah, the thimbleberry will have really big leaves. Uh huh. And you know the difference between them, though, right? The salmonberry and thimbleberry. E. Yeah, the salmonberry kind of looks like almost like eggs, and then the uh -huh. thimbleberry just kind of it it slides off like a thimble almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the thing there. Then we use that for like raspberry and blackberry now. Because uh, raspberry and blackberry obviously have, you know, been introduced for the most part. So that's how we use them. Shekhat, shekhat would be the blackberry. Shekhat would be a raspberry. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Because um, I've, you know, dealing with that that whole food portion with the students, they were asking about that, the, that what would we call a blackberry and a raspberry. Uh-huh. So I, I can I can give this to them today then that yeah. shakhat would be a raspberry and shakhat shakhat would be the blackberry then. Uh huh. Okay. And then uh, we don't have a word for schnozberries so. Nushnuli. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> and then kula kula that's the um, hawthorn. It's the same as a shnum, but instead of being black, it's orange. Uh, orange. Um, then there's only one tree that I know of, and that's down at Rock Creek. It's right above the bridge, the the Bickleton Bridge. And you have to walk up the creek for it there to get get those. I don't know if it's still there or not. And uh, chen, current, chen, the black current, metup, elderberry. The nenik, now this is getting into something that people don't um, gather anymore. 
they used to have feasts for that over at uh, at the Medicine Valley, and it was done by the uh, uh, Ambrose Smatlawit family. And that's a pine, pine nuts. And they come from that uh, really high tree way up in a mountain. I'm, I'm not quite sure which exactly the species is, but they have to climb up and they grow in bunches. Then you have to bake them in the ground and they'll open. That's a Nick Kush. That grows down there by uh, the Dalles in that area. Then they're kind of up onto um, uh, Klickitat River. That's the uh, hazelnut. Hazelnut. Well, a chi, that grows down that way too. And uh, that has to be processed. That's the uh, acorn. Well, a chi. Now this next one, Lutsani, people used to eat it, but I know it's an acquired taste. <laughs> uh, it's not, it, to me, it doesn't, it's, uh, I just, uh, my face um, scrunches up just thinking about it. It's bitter, 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 bitter. It's the, um, the, uh, those silver berries off of the red willow. The red willow berries. Ugh, oh, <laughs> I don't see how people could even eat them. They're just terrible. To me, they are anyway. <laughs> but people have eaten them. Not me. Uh, I have eaten them, but then there's not one of my Kunch. Pine moss. Sukhwai meat is the inner bark, the cambium layer of a, a pine tree. They would eat it about this time of year. They would get that, um, get the cambium bark and it will loosen you up. Oh boy, you eat it, you're, it'll cleanse your body, but they use it as a food. Almost like on the lines of coconut. Yeah, it'll just clean you out. They would do that in the springtime to clean their bodies out so they could start to um, get the other foods or something. But they would eat it. It was a it was a food. You have to put a lot of sugar in it, though. Otherwise, then it leaves an ugly, bad aftertaste in your throat. <laughs> yeah. Hip out. They should be getting ready to come out. I don't, uh, but they're, uh, what's we calling now? Hip out. Then, chichipa. Chichipa. That's the um, uh, rose hips. And they would cook that into a mush a long time ago. But then I would. I don't know how you could process it to eat it in you know in a big amount of um, big amount of uh, eating it a lot. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't advise it because if you eat it just as it is, like a fruit, you boil it and you eat it, and uh, if you don't process it right, it will give you the hemorrhoids like you would not believe. It gives you really, it gives, makes you, the black feet call it itchy butt, is what they call that berry. <laughs> but yeah, it really messes with your system. Ilil muk is a blueberry. It's a blueberry, you know. I can't eat them. I don't know why anymore. I kind of had a reaction to them. So I used to love them. And oh man, they're really good. And then we'll know. Is a uh, huckleberry. Willu willu is a grouse berry, the red huckleberry, the little itty bitty ones, the little the little itty bitty uh, bushes. Those are willu willu. Those are grouse berries. But that's as far as I got on the um, on the food list, food order. It's um, uh, there's a lot of terms on there. There's a lot of different resources that's on there. And I know that's not all of them. I know that's not all of them at all. 
So if you guys can uh, find something in the, in English that we use, we'll try to find the um, uh, Yubatilla term for it. And the last and most important one that ties it all together from the beginning to the end, Chush. So that's um, as far as I can go. Is there any questions? So the, these last two that we went over is to Khnit and Tmanit. They were, they were, they were told the women to. That's what they had to take care of. That's where the the women's stuff. You know, that's what they were. Women's in creation yeah. time in the time of creation. That's what they were. They, they, they stepped and turned to the woman and told her that this is what you need to take care of. While Waikanash and Awina, they looked to the men. And so Khnit and Tmanit turned, turned to the West and talked to the woman and said, this is, our, this is our order. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to take, take care of. Mm. But uh, uh, the, the chick good. chick new, um, if we were gonna, we want to hunt some of those this year, but you don't gut them. So I'm wondering, as we get them, should we freeze them whole or what? What do you think? What I would do with the chick chick no, um, what I would do actually is that's how we uh cook them to eat them is to uh singe the hair off, you gotta have the fire to singe the hair off. And I think that uh, when you bake them right away, I, I believe that you could um, uh, cut them up. But that was just the easiest way to get them cooked. Was to, so if you do the chik chik no, um, I would singe, I don't know if I'd really singe it. If you're going to put it away in winter, I would just butcher it. I would just butcher it. And when it comes time to... Um, cook it, then I would just bake it. But that's just how when you when you first get it, you um, you singe it and then you um, then you bury it in the ashes. Let it cook that way. Does everyone have this all got this set this screen down? Yeah. You've got yeah. it all typed up on my end. All right. Don't mind if I close it out then? But, but yeah, that, that's a that's a list. I don't know how many terms there are on there, but that uh, food terms, but there's quite a bit. Just to think if we put it that all the foods on the table, what it would look like. Then we feasted every one of them, we'd be full by the time we got to the water. Yeah. And we wouldn't have to eat. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, it's um, you know I, I was I was I talked I mentioned this before I keep on, I keep on mentioning about you know the importance of feast why it's important especially it's, it's um, I doubt it's gonna be like it used to be the feast you know going out you know, feast but you know not even in the past when you go out when you go out and dig and fish they never um, brought the food back to the longhouse. It's actually that's pretty a pretty new thing to do. Um, my dad can remember a time. My mom and my grandma would talk about times when they would just be out there in the field digging, then peel what they dug and call it, call it out and feast it right there. We've done it a couple of times. Have, that's when for us we did that because we didn't have a longhouse then because our longhouse burnt down in '68. And so then uh, there was nobody was really gathering. So that's how we would do it. You know, we can't wait for them. We got to get up there and uh, start digging. Yeah. So we take up our, we'd go up to the mountain, then we would uh, feast there. Mm -hmm. We'd be down in Palina, down there in uh, Ochocos. Then we would feast right there by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's the same. So, yeah, but they would bring it back. That's a big part of the feast is, you know, when they have the Titamani Tilaki. Mm -hmm. that type of stuff so there is that's a big part of it but yeah. it was in our family because we didn't have a longhouse since 68 
Yeah, I was just just saying though that uh, even Cutler would talk about when they'd be in um, down here by Hardman, down there by Hepner. They wouldn't always bring it back. They would just feast right there. Feast there, yeah. And that would be in family groups a lot of times mm -hmm. too. Yeah, because that's where uh, what's her name was born. April first, down there at the uh, Plashy. Um, uh, <laughs> Lavina. Yeah. What was her Indian name? I can't remember it off the bat. But then when they were doing that up there in uh, at Ayunash, they were just up there. That's where they feasted. That's where um, Ayunash Bum was born up there. Um, so, choice. choice, choice, red thunder, yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, by having all these foods, though, you know, t tell, telling the students the importance of feast that, um, you know, you don't just gather for feast, you once you feast, and you, you hear the rivers and the mountains are open season, the fields are open season for you to go out and gather once the food's been feasted. Once that, it's been time you don't go out and uh, gather before for yourself before you feast. Mm -hmm. A feast has got to be there because they're taking care of us. We got to take care of them and remember them. Yep. They're giving themselves up, and we have to uh, always honor them in that way. It'll be that way till we are no longer a people. Yeah. If we start forgetting about it, then everything will impact their impact their life negatively that we you can't afford to we need to be have that always as a part of our um our way because you know we don't have to plant them we don't have to we don't have to garden our food we don't have to plant them take care of with um uh, uh, agricultural methods you know the creation did that for us and that's our gift. So we ha always have to remember that. Always remember it and keep it in foremost in our in our thought, in our hearts, and our mind. Mm -hmm. And um, I've got a, a appointment to get to, so I really did appreciate you know being able to share just that much for the foods, just that little bit that was there. And uh, maybe if we took it as a, I know Bobby and uh, Brazen, you know. You guys are living that way. That's the way that I lived as a kid. But then if there was ever a time we could have a, a specimen or a sample of every one of these foods on the table, just to show and remember it, to show how blessed our people were in the past that we had all these resources here. All the things of our, that the creation gifted us that we have to remember. You know, that would be a most impressive, impressive display and um, sight to see to have at least a little bit of every one of those foods to have on the table at one time or another. Mm -hmm. But um, again, okay. Dad, thank you for all your help on that. You know, it's, you know, appreciate you coming in and you know, sharing, sharing that, sharing, sharing that with Sharing that food, that food list. Uh, yeah. uh, given that this is this it is the beginning of that time of year. You know, we're at we're at the start now. That's why our people had to really defend this country because when they when Creator put us here, everybody wanted what we had. They wanted because you know the Paiutes were starving, they had to go hand to mouth. All these different people that had some that were wanting things, show bands, that type of stuff. They didn't have the resources that we did. So our people had to be tough. Our people had to really, really be mindful and be protective of our country. And so that's a that'd be a different different thing. But then yeah, that's why it we have to go through with this. And that's the thing that we have to remember. Our people fought to protect us for us and they guarded it. With their lives. Hey, up. Uh, All right. Thank you, Dad. Uh,
And um, I appreciate all you guys being here, uh, Brosnan, Bob. Um, John, John, hope, hope you guys, is, um, and Aaliyah, hope you guys are training went well. You know, those conferences. Same with Juan Piscuiach, it's good to see you. Glad you, glad you made it. It's good to see you. You know, it's... You know, good to, you know, go over simple things like that to understand the name of foods. I mean, just like how he was saying, I with the roots, I don't know. Only only one I know English name is the Piachi, bitter root. That's it. All the other ones, I've never known their English names. It's always been Chao, Shluk, Shmumen, Banku, and all that. Never knew the English names. You know, understood the English. You know, it wasn't wasn't a big thing. We just always known them by the Indian names. So it's the same with same with the um the berries. Some of the berries I didn't I, I didn't know really know what the English terminology was for them, you know. When the what what's what's what do you call matip in English? I didn't know. It's just matip. No. It was always oh it was always that way. It was always you know never cha, you know. How do you say what, what that, that that has an English name? What is it? Tell me. <laughs> Shnim? Really? What is that? What do, what do they what do they call it in English? So a lot of these I, I never knew the English names. It was always Indian. To say they're given names that we that, that were given to them. And you know, now we got covered um majority of the foods. Are there any suggestions that we could probably take on for next week? That maybe we can cover for next week. Any ideas? You hooked me with the promise of woodpeckers, and we didn't say a word about woodpeckers. Oh yeah, those woodpeckers, those darn woodpeckers. Is that these names in here do get uh, mixed up, and I'm not sure if um, a lot of them were keep the same name. No, it's like they're all in the book. What Q Q? Oops. Siu Siu. Yeah. Pips. Not bones, but pips. Pips. And uh mish. Mish. Should be a click to see right there. So I think this looks like so. What Q Q Siu Siu Pips and Mishtil. Um, given the definitions in this book for that, for um, you know, what Q Q or one actually one nan pas is uh, the pileated woodpecker. Lewis woodpecker is a Siu Siu Lewis. Siu Siu. Pips. Pips is the hairy, hairy woodpecker. And the mishtil. Mishtil is the small, small woodpecker. And, um, and there's that other one too. I wonder if that mishtil is. Uh downy woodpecker. They look like peeps, but I think are smaller. Yeah. I've... Then you have forgot this one. The the flicker. The northern uh, northern flicker. Pacht. 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 
And it's, it's one A, Tacht, 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 Tacht. It's the flicker. And these ones come in orange or they even come in yellow. They were called uh, some mid in like the Southern Plains, that area, they call them the yellow hammer. And, and um, up here, they, they're more commonly the um, red, no, I mean, the orange and black feathers. Yellow ones are, I've, I've, I've gotten a yellow one before. I've seen it, I've got it. You know, they're, they're not really uncommon, but they're, they're around. But these are the names of the woodpeckers though. Tacht is the flicker. These, that's where we left off at with um, last week. I have a question. How do you, maybe next week we could go over knots. Went over what? I have a suggestion. Maybe next week can, we can go over knots. Knots? Mm hmm. Like um, tying knots? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. We, I, I, um, I have to bring bring my dad back on that one. He's a he's a knot man. He's a naughty man. <laughs> <laughs> I made this while we were doing the meeting. Oh, cool! Nice, nice. And I'm starting on another one too. Cool. It's gonna be as long as it seems. It's gonna. That's good. That's good. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. But um, yeah, that was that was the list that uh, we we finished off with last week. And we went over went over a lot of those birds that were that were considered in the food that food portion with um, um, a winnet. Went over a lot of those. Um, the other birds like huama, kamamul, all the the birds of prey. Went over those. Birds of prey. Um, we know a lot of the animals. Not so much the the predators yet, but as a, we still got um, the bears, you know, yucca, tweet us, kwayawe, um, khalish, spilia. All those, all the, all the predators. We will probably. I get in, probably, we'll probably start off with that next week. If that's okay, we'll continue on with the with those anim, animal names. You know, I'm, again, I'm, I was really thankful that my dad was here to be here to help out with that, to name off these foods. And um, the thing, it, it just, the, uh, with that, the, the list, the food list does look daunting. It's like, dang, that's a lot. It's a lot to gather, but you know, then you got to think about it. It's like, oh yeah, but there's seasonal foods. You're gonna go with the seasons. Like, there's only like two or three fish that you can go for in one season, then another two or three, in the next season, another, and that. Same with same with the roots. You get two or three of them, maybe four of them in one season, and get ready for the next one, and the next one, the next one. Go through going down the line with the berries too, in their in their time. You know, this this will be ready by then. Then the next ones will be ready. Then the next ones will be ready. Then. By the time winter comes, everything's all gathered, everything you got, everything. And the only the only main one that grows all year, that that only foods that really are there all year is the Yamash. You know, Yamash, Chutwili, and Kalk and Kunch are year-round food that grows. You can gather all, you can get you go hunting all year and get quench all year. Um, what was that phrase? I remember we, there was a recording we listened to and there was a phrase talking about not to be overlooked. I kept thinking about that phrase, what, talking about quench. Yeah. Um, um, it's um, Autica. Uh, not Chao 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 It's not. It's not. It's not a good for nothing thing. It's not Chao Chao Yan milk. You can't do things in, in, in the old way. 
no, autico is a, it's like it's when it's it'll never it'll never chanama not autica it's not never gonna be something that's left out you know it's constantly we can't we can't can't forget it you know, can't leave it out so that's something in in that in that phrase that he's talking about that recording and then every time kudj comes up that's what i always hear that my my grandma well not my grandma but a grandmother of mine she say that year round you know kunch you can gather it year round you know the, the, the you know she's speaking in 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 in, in the whole time and you hear year round in there kind of sounds funny it sticks out in my head Chao <laughs> Chao means is a uh, never we must never forget it we must never leave it out. I'm not sure if that word's in here. Autica. Yeah. It's not worthless. It will never be worthless. Shaunamun Autica. Quench. No, it's no the, the, the definition it has in here, Autica is a worthless. Futile, in vain, for nothing, useless, merely. No, that's so that's Chaunamun Autica. It'll never be good, it'll never be worthless. Chaumun Niwa Autica. Chaumun never. But with that, with that food, you know, it's that's it makes sense. But we're also told that you know, never say never. But as far as food goes, you know, that's that was an important part. You know, chamonautica kunch. It's not. It's never worthless. It's always. It's important. It's part of our. It's part of our work. It's part of our food. It's part of our diet. You know. You know, got to put the work in. You know, it's not a can't just do it any old way either. You got to take care of it in the right manner. Are you guys planning on doing that again, there, Brosnan, Bobby, Josh? Make some more clinch. Try to work on clinch. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't done clinch yet, but we'd like to. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna go with Mary and do it. She's gonna show us. Yeah. Um, I forget. I can't remember the right tree. There's a certain tree you get the kunch from, but um, that the late elder uh, Pilakaas, that's why Pilakaas, uh, Don Don, so happy. He said to the best time to get it to gather it is after a big rainstorm. That way, that big rainstorm that came has already helped clean it out already. That way, it'd be less cleaning for you when you get it. Okay. So that's what, that's one thing I remember him talking about when we were up in the mountains with him one at one time. Like when you gather a clinch, wait, wait till wait till after a big rainstorm, then you go out there and half the work is done for you. All you gotta do is pick it clean and wash it, wash it out again. And most I think of the that's work what your done. dad was telling us too. Yeah. From Tamarack. Yeah, yeah. Khmilla. Yeah. Khmilla. Yeah, we'd like to eventually do the rock chucks and puthla, mm -hmm. all the tamaych foods. Yeah, and the good thing about kunch is only one one day, one day cook kunch, one day. Not like khmash, not like khmash, three days. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah kunch is only one day. So hopefully by that time we'll be able to venture out and come help you guys out with that. <laughs>